Welcome back to my tutorial series on how to model a creepy apartment hallway in that VHS found footage style. If you haven't already, make sure you watch the previous part, then come back to this one. In this part, I will show you how to model some flickering wall lamps and ceiling lights, and then I will show you how to do handheld camera animation for this scene. If you don't want to wait for the rest of the parts, you can watch the full series by becoming a member on my Patreon. You can also download the entire project file, including two bonus scenes where a creature jump scares the camera and a scene where the creature chases you down the hallway. All right, let's dive into the tutorial and level up your 3D art skills. We're going to be using the EV render engine to render this out, which is going to be a lot faster even for slower systems. So make sure you're on Eevee. Let's go into render mode. Okay, we want to turn the color to dark, the world color. And now we're gonna need some lights. So let's do Shift A. Let's add in a light, a point light. GZ, bring it up. We can go into minus X view. Let's go into wireframe for a second. And we're gonna hit G, Y on the keyboard and we'll bring it right here. Let's go back into camera mode. Let's go into minus Y and let's hit G and then X and we'll move it to the wall here. Go back as a camera. Let's go to rendered mode to see what it's looking like. Okay, we'll bring it above like right here. We can turn off shadows by going to the light properties here and turning off shadow. I'm gonna make the color of the lights a little yellowish. I actually want it closer to the door. So I'll put it like right here and let's duplicate each of these lights. So let's hit shift T. Duplicate, escape, and then I'll hit G and then Y on my keyboard and I'll move it right there. Again, I'll select both of these, shift D, duplicate, and then I'll move them like, okay, select all your lights, go into minus Y. Let's do shift D again, X on my keyboard and I'll move them over on this side. Go back to camera mode. Let's see what it's looking like in rendered mode. We can add in some more lights now. So let's go and hit shift A. Let's add in an area light. G and Z, and we'll bring it up to the ceiling. And let's go to minus X view, actually, wireframe, and we'll bring it over here. I'm gonna make it into a disc shape, and I'll make the size 0.5. Let's make sure it's on a square here. So I'm just gonna go into, I'm gonna click on my floor here. I'll hit H to hide it. I'll click this H to hide that. And I'm gonna make sure the light is in the middle of a square like this. Alt H to bring back your objects. And now we're probably gonna need some light objects for each of these lights that we added. So let's start with our ceiling lights. I'm gonna hit Shift A, add in a circle. I'll hit Shift H. Let's go into solid mode. Let's zoom in on it. And let's make our ceiling light real quick. So let's go into edit mode. Vertex select mode, hit F to add in a new face. We can go use the face select tool now, deselect, select this face, hit E to extrude up, and then we'll hit I to add in a new face, E to extrude up again, and we can actually hit S to scale in a little bit, I again to add in a new face, hit E to extrude down, and then I to add in another face, I to add in another face, use the face select tool, hold Alt, select the faces around to make a ring. Let's go into material properties, Let's actually first go back into object mode. Let's give it a new material. And then we can hit the plus icons and add in a new material. Go back into edit mode, hit new. We'll make this dark. Let's go into material preview, hit assign. Hit the plus icon to add in another new material slot. Hit new, we'll make this emission. Okay, now we're gonna select these right here click on your emission material, just hit assign. Click the middle, click on your emission material, hit assign. We can actually rename this to, we'll rename it to ceiling emission. Go to your main material up here, ceiling lights, base. We can make that metallic. Roughness can be like 0.3. And we'll make it a little darker. Right click, shade auto smooth. Okay, and there you go, you have a basic ceiling light. So. Let's go ahead and hit Alt H to bring everything back. Let's go into the camera view. Let's select our new lights, rename it to ceiling lights. Hit R Y 180 to rotate it, enter. 
and then G and Z on your keyboard and we'll move it up. We can change the emission to be like four. Again, we could duplicate this light by going to the array modifier, make X factor zero, and we'll make this like, probably make it like, let's do 10 meters. Yeah, 10 meters. I wanna make sure it is in the middle of that square there. So something like that. Now, again, we also have to click on our lights here. We'll make this again, a little bit yellow. We need to duplicate these lights. Also make them smaller as well. So let's go and hit Shift D to duplicate it, escape to set it back in place. Let's go to top view, let's go to wireframe and we can just move it over here. Let's select our ceiling light object and we could change the array count. And we'll just keep duplicating the area lights. Okay, now we need to make some wall lamps for our point lights on the side here. So to do that, I'm gonna be using my own picture of a wall lamp that I took in real life. So to make this wall lamp, we'll hit Shift A and we'll add in a plane. Hit Shift H to isolate it. Let's go back into solid mode. Let's zoom in on it. Let's start making our wall lamp. So let's go into edit mode. Let's hit E to extrude up. Hit I to add in a new face. E to extrude up. We can hit S to scale in a bit and then I to add in another face. This face is gonna be scaled on the X axis as well. So hit S and then X, then hit A, and then let's go to top view. Let's hit S and then X, scale it a little bit like this. Then I'll scale it down, move it back on the origin, select this face here, hit E to shoot up. Let's hit Control R, add in two loop cuts, click, escape to set it back in place, Use the face select tool, select the middle face, then just hit G and then Z, bring it down. Deselect, shift A, and we'll add in a cylinder. R, X, 90 to rotate it, enter, scale it down, G, Z, bring it up, hit S and then Y to scale it on the Y axis. S, Y, scale on the Y axis. Okay, let's go to top view. Let's go into wireframe. Let's hit control R, add in a loop cut on your cylinder, move it up like right here. Control R, another loop cut, move it down there. Control R, another loop cut on the cylinder. Make sure it's on the cylinder. Go slightly down. That's good. So now you should have three loop cuts on your cylinder like this. Okay, go back to object mode. Let's give it a material. Right click, shade auto smooth. Let's go hit the plus icon to add in a new material slot. Go into edit mode. We're gonna hold alt. Let's first deselect, use the face select tool, hold alt, select this face, hold shift, alt, select these, go to top view and select, hold shift and select this face and this face. Go to the new material slot, hit new, rename this to wall lights, emission. Material is gonna be emission right here. Go into rendered mode, hit assign. And there you have your wall lamp. Let's go into material preview to see it better. Let's select our main material here. And we're actually gonna make it metallic. And we'll make it dark. Okay, now we can hit Alt H to bring everything back. Let's go into camera view. Select your wall light, hit F2, rename it to wall lamp. Let's go into rendered mode and a bit of an issue. It's not, we need to make this material, the emission material, we need to make it translucent instead. So let's go select our wall light emission. We can just change the surface type to translucent. We can actually select all of our point lights on this side of the wall here. Let's go to minus Y and we can just adjust them actually. I kind of want to make this base right here, but just holding the lamp a lot smaller. Let's go into edit mode. I'm going to hit L, hit S, and we'll scale down. Deselect, I'm gonna hover over my cylinder, hit L, and then I'll just make it, I'll just hit S to scale down. Now 
There we go, looking a lot better. I'm just gonna go ahead and select my light here. I'll hit Control-A, Apply Scale. Okay, now to duplicate these lamps, you are gonna use the Array modifier. Then just hit Shift-D to duplicate it, Escape. Then I'll move it on the other side. I'm actually gonna turn off the Array. I'm gonna hit RZ 180, rotate it, and then make sure all the lights on this side are also adjusted accordingly. Okay, then we're just gonna add the array, hit Control A, apply rotation, 41. Okay, one final thing we need to do is go into material preview and make sure this wall matches this wall on the left here. So let's go into edit mode. Let's deselect. Hover over this wall here, hit L, and then X, delete vertices. Okay, go back into object mode, select this wall, go to the modifiers, add a mirror modifier, and there you go, just apply it. Okay, now to make the scene even spookier, we can actually add some flickering on each of these point lights here. To do that, we're gonna click on our first point light here, which is this one. We're gonna go to the graph editor, and to add that flickering effect, we're going to need to add a noise modifier. So let's go to our object properties here, go to the power and click on this keyframe here, which will add a keyframe on frame one. Then go to the modifiers, add a noise modifier. Hit play, let's see what it's looking like and nothing's really happening. So we can go ahead and first crank up the scale to maybe like 10. Let's crank the strength up to five. Okay, now we see something happening. Maybe crank it up to something like 10. The strength needs to be higher, 43. There we go. And the scale can be like three. And now it's flickering. And we can go ahead and just copy this by clicking this copy F modifiers. And then we can click on our second light right here, this one. And then we could do the same thing, go back to frame one go to the power here, add a keyframe, and then we can just paste the modifier. But we obviously want to change up the variation, otherwise they're going to be flickering the same, so we could just change the offset a little bit. And we can also, chat. we don't have to have all of them on, we can actually turn this one off and only have some of them flicker. All right, now we can finally add some camera animation. So I want to have that handheld shaky camera movement. So to do that, we're gonna select our camera. And on frame one, let's go to our object properties and let's add a keyframe on our location by hitting I and our rotation by hitting I. Let's collapse this. Let's go to our X rotation first. Let's go to noise modifier and add that in. I'm gonna make the strength 0.1. Hit enter. And now if you hit play, you can see it's shaking a little bit too much on the x-axis. So to smooth that out a bit, we can change the scale to something like 30. Or let's do 25. Okay, now I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go into my Y rotation and I'll paste it. But it's the same, so we wanna change the phase to something like 40. So now it's rotating on the Y axis as well. Again, let's go to the Z rotation, just paste that. And we can change the phase to 80. And now it looks like someone is holding the camera kind of shaky. Okay, so let's make this about 250 frames. Let's go and move the camera forward. Let's say right here. And then we'll hit I to add in that new keyframe on the location. Now if you play, we now have some shaky walking handheld footage. And what's cool about this is that it's playing in real time because we're using Eevee. Okay, to finish off this scene, let's go back into solid mode and let's organize our collection a little bit. So let's select all of our lights here. So select your area light and go to the last one. Hit M, new collection, we'll call these lights. Now we have a lights collection, move all your lights into this collection. So select all your point lights as well and move them into the lights collection. Then we can just take this main lights collection and move it into our main collection right here. Rename our main collection to Hallway. Select your ceiling lights and your two lamp lights here and bring them into your hallway collection. Select this cube here and it's just as one vert so we can just delete that by hitting X, delete object. 
And now we have our scene collection nicely organized. Make sure your camera is outside the scene collection. Okay, so make sure your hallway collection is selected. Shift A, add in empty. We'll do an empty sphere. Hit GZ, bring it up. Select your camera and hit H to hide it for now. Then hit A to select everything and then hold shift on your keyboard and select your empty, making it this orange color here. Hit control P and then we'll parent all the objects to our empty here. And now this empty controls our entire hallway. Now, if you want to duplicate this entire hallway to make it longer, you can select your hallway collection, right click and click on duplicate linked. Now select this empty and we can just hit G and the Y and we'll move it forward, making the hallway even longer. But that's just an option for you. You don't have to make it longer if you don't want to. If you want to end the hallway right here, let's hit Shift A, add in a mesh plane. Bring the plane into your main hallway collection. Let's go into the X view. Let's hit RX90 to rotate it. Enter, hit G and then Y and we'll bring it all the way towards the end. GZ, bring it up, go to the Y view, and we'll just bring it up like this and we'll hit S and then X, scale it. Click on it, hit F2, rename it to end wall. Control A, apply scale. Go into render mode, give it a material. We'll give it that basic concrete material. You can bring back your camera and that's pretty much it. Again, if you don't want to wait, you can find this entire tutorial series on my Patreon. You can also download the entire project along with the monster running animation on my Patreon as well. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part. Until next time, it's been your boy, only RJ. Peace.